From its opening moment, the zone of interest compels us to listen, to bear witness with our ears. As the title fades, leaving behind a black screen, a hollow ambient buzz gradually gives way to gentle voices and chirping birds. Eventually, images appear. A picturesque scene of a young family picnicking and swimming at a lovely mountain lake. After a time, they pack up and return to their home, a well-appointed abode, which shares a wall with the notorious Nazi concentration camp, Auschwitz. Titled after the euphemistic Nazi term for the network of forced labor and extermination camps around Auschwitz, the zone of interest is freely adapted from the 2014 Martin Amis novel of the same name. But where Amis used a fictionalized version of Haas as one of several narrators, Jonathan Glazer has created a forensically researched, tightly focused, quasi-documentary portrait of a real man and his family. As with his previous feature, the mind-bending sci-fi classic Under the Skin, the auteur has radically condensed his source novel into a gripping, unsettling, visually dazzling psycho-thriller. This left-field masterpiece already feels like a classic. The film is centered around Rudolf Haas, the real-life commandant of Auschwitz, his wife Hedwig, and their children. They were a working-class family that rose to great wealth during World War II. This is centered on him not only because of his position within the camp, but more so because of his house, which sat directly on the perimeter. Glazer said in an interview that once he actually saw the proximity of the house to the camp, he changed components of the entire film. Hedwig Haas is portrayed in a most evil light. She shows absolutely zero emotion at gossiping to her friends about taking fur coats and diamonds from Jewish prisoners and is more concerned with the quality of her garden than the smoke from the crematorium billowing overhead. The only time in the film that she shows any anger or sadness is when she's almost forced to leave her nice house. And once she has the option to abandon her husband to stay, she calms down. She's the worst representation of the capitalist greed surrounding the dire historical period. The smartest aspect of this is how Glazer never shows the human suffering because to show that is to is instantly cheapen it. Instead, he gives us an almost more sickening replacement for the visuals by giving us the sound of the camp. The sounds of gunshots, guards yelling, and the endless crowd of screams like we are hearing the bellows from hell's pit. We see ashes and bones washing down a natural river stream and depressing scene of Jewish servant washing blood off Haas's boots. This is exactly how you emotionally affect an audience without exploiting a tragedy. The Zone of Interest is a film where practically nothing happens yet it still haunts me long past the credits. Extremely well filmed, this movie gave a lot of space so the viewer can continuously peek behind the walls. I personally think this film has the best sound design I've heard in a while as the sounds could have been a whole movie of its own. The acting was stoic with a realistic approach that made me feel uncomfortable just as this filmmaker wanted. Watching the mundane, domestic life of a Nazi family living next door to Auschwitz concentration camp was fascinating, not to mention chilling and nauseating. Over time, it became a bit repetitive and I wanted more characterization and plot, but I enjoyed it for what it was and I do believe it is a film many people should go out and experience. Tune in every Friday for new movie videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what other movies you would like me to do videos on. Thank you, Mom, for editing the scripts for my movie essays. I appreciate you. Till next time, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.